everyone, welcome back to Five Day Crypto. My name is Chase. Today is Friday, May 28th of 2021, and today we're going to look at a little bit something different. We're going to look at five coins, maybe six coins, just altcoins that we're going to do all one video of just like five or six different altcoins. So we'll try it out, see how, see how you like it. Instead of just doing one video per coin, we'll see how this does. This does well, we'll do more like this. If it doesn't, then this is it. <laughs> But we'll probably stick to the, uh, you know, one coin, one video type of thing. But I figured I'd try something new for Friday. So I think we're going to cover VeChain, Polkadot, Uni, One, Litecoin, Amp. If you like those, cool. If not, just click off now. Or wait 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I get a, a view count. So click off in 30 seconds. We're almost there. I think we're probably there by now. Go ahead. Go ahead and leave if you don't like these coins. <laughs> But otherwise, here we go. We're going to jump into VeChain to start out with. Uh, so VeChain is after after the drop, right? We came right to the 200 day. A lot of price action in the 200 day right now. Uh, we had one brief candle close before uh, below the 200, but doing better than a lot of altcoins right now because it's already back above the 200 day. So let's go and look at it with the Bollinger Band, see if there's anything else we got. So the, the wider the Bollinger Bands, the more volatility you're going to have. The narrower, the less volatility. Usually when they're really narrow, like you see back in here in April, then a big move is coming. When the mouth starts opening, you want your prices to be on top, not the bottom. If prices are on the bottom and the, the, the lines start diverging like this, you're probably going whatever way the prices are at, when the mouth starts opening. So as we're really far away from uh, we, our mouths already open it's closing now so the we're going to get less volatile over the next you know days and weeks for uh v chain so next point to watch is our median line here now i know this looks a little busy but see this purple line that's the median of the bollinger bands that's likely going to be our next intercept whether or not we break above it or below it as you can see uh we're going to uh you know the lines are dipping down you can see the, the the trajectory right it's not just gonna level off it's probably going to continue as you can see the mouth is closing here at the bottom so we'll probably likely get a more rapidly declining top line that's okay uh but next for v chain is just this level let's go look on the weekly see if we see anything different so these are moving averages on the weekly. Let's go ahead and take the Bollinger Bands off, make it a little bit cleaner. Uh, the weekly time scale, you know, VeChain's had an excellent 2021, uh, barring the drop, obviously, the nice run up. But we want to close above our 21 week on any coin. We just got to get back above our 21 week. Uh, Bitcoin is still well below it. Uh, a lot of coins are kind of, at least altcoins are uh, right around the 21 week. So we have two days, 10 hours to close this. Uh, if can if, if candles can close at or above the 21 week, that's a good sign. Okay, that's a good sign. That's all we can ask for. We can't ho hope for too much. Uh, baby steps uh, after drops like this uh, are go a long way. So, all right, to the next one. Let's go to polka dot. Polka dot on the weekly chart. You can see we're not quite up to our 21 week, but polka dot's a little bit of a younger coin, still trying to gain some traction here. Not a whole lot to do on the weekly chart here. Let's go and zoom in a little bit. Younger coins, you kind of got to do smaller time frames, okay? So drop to the 200, failed to hold it. Now we're battling as uh, resistance. Anytime you're battling and holding support and you break it, when you come back up to it, at least the first time, you're going to battle as resistance, as shown here. So our first step for DOT, plain and simple, get above the 200 day. You got to get above your 200 day if you want to do anything. Price action under 200 day is not good. And in fact, if your 50 day crosses your 200 day and your prices are under your red 200 day, that's a textbook bear market for anything, including Bitcoin, including stocks, whatever you want to look at. 50 day crosses 200, price action under 200, moving average, bear market. Otherwise, you're not. It doesn't matter the severe the, the severity of the drop. Okay, that has nothing to do with a bear market. Like some people think we're in a bear market already. No, plain and simple. Any coin, we're not in a bear market yet, including Bitcoin. Your 50-day must cross your 200. Your price must be under 200 as well. So, 
in order to avoid that, we got to get going here. So Polkadot, still okay. Look at about average for the whole market. Kind of looks generally like this right now. No big deal. It's part of it. Buckle, buckle up. We'll be back out of this in no time. Now, uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos, or if you're new, depending, uh, I, it's my opinion that Polkadot and uh, Chainlink will do quite well during this whole market cycle, which I think will last another 12 to 18 months uh, for our bull cycle. I don't think we're going to go into a bear market over the next you know, few weeks to few months. Um, if we did, it'd be brief, kind of like a fake out kind of thing, in my opinion. We'll see how that plans out, but if you're only going to hold two coins, if I had to pick two coins for the next year, I polka dot and chain link would be right up there. Maybe we'd throw in some Bitcoin, Ethereum, something like that. But if you have to pick two altcoins, not in the top two, those top two guys, that'll be my two. So if you got polka dot, if you got chain link, good for you. Let's move right along. Uniswap. Uni. Look at. It's kind of helpful to do these videos like this because you can compare coin to coin because we just looked at Dot and it's below the 200. Look at Uni above the 200 and look where it's battling. The next moving average. Moving averages are important. This is, there's no uh, rhyme or reason why you wouldn't think that moving averages aren't important when you're seeing can so much price action closing right on them. Look at closed, the daily candle closed right at the 100 day moving average. We opened here, resistance. So far, resistance. We got to get back above that. If Uni can do that and start turning the ship around, we want to get the moving averages sorted from least to greatest. 21, 50, 100, 200. Your coins can do well. When you start tangling up, crossing down, it's just you're not going to get huge explosive moves. You can get rebounds. These are bounces, right? But until we get back above our 21 and these get sorted out again for any coin, especially uni, we got to get going above our averages. So let's go to the weekly and look where we're at. Now, uni's also better than most in this case, right? Above the 21 week. We don't have any coins above the 21 week that we've looked at yet, right? So stronger than most. Now the 21 week, look and see on the left, is 25 right now, 25.44. Now, depending on what price action does over the next two days 10 hours that can change slightly but around 25 dollars so if we can close above that good for uni and good for altcoins right we want altcoins to do well as you watched our previous video today we did a whole altcoin market cap overview so if you haven't watched that yet go watch that it's like it's kind of long 20 minutes but a lot of information in that so go check it out so that's uni doing better than most other coins we'll watch for this in two days, 10 hours. That's our weekly close. Our monthly close is Monday. So we have this kind of a big next three days or so. So pay attention. Weekly close, monthly close across the board. Let's go to one. Already one. All right, let's look at what we've done here. Now on a weekly chart, you might say, well, that's not a whole lot. Well, I agree with you on a weekly, but I drew this on a daily. So we're going to look at that in a minute. Uh, but on the weekly chart, one is also above its 21 week. Good news. Anytime you're above your 21 week, you're okay. No matter what prices are doing. 21 week closing above is good. Wicks still don't matter. We want to close above it. It would have been nice to bounce off the 21 week, but very few coins did that. Uh, but no no problem. Because look at the jump that, that one did over, over this year, right? It's no wonder it's gotta it's gotta come down and cool off a little bit. It just got it went into the stratosphere. It's just coming back down a little bit, get some more energy, and I think it'll be fine. No issues. Okay, let's go look at the daily, see what we got. Now, here is where we're drawing our kind of our support level here. A lot of price action a few days back in here, some consolidation after our big run up, right? So look look at this area of, you know, about a week of consolidation here. And then we have another wick test here. More wicks test here. We had a candle close here. And our 200 day is here. Anytime you have you know, a support resistance line that's also coinciding with a moving average, that would just make that level even more important to watch, which is here. So for one, I'm watching right at this level, seven, eight cents right in this area. If we were to break that, that would be a little 
a little more concerning, and then we'd have to look at lower levels, maybe possibly down here, but that's speculation. We don't, I don't read too much into that. We'll cross that bridge when and if we get to it. So far, so good on one. Let's see what our Bollinger Bands look like. See if anything's changed. Now, this is looking better than most, right? Most Bollinger Band coins that we've looked at have much more severe, uh, you know, drops and sharp down angles of these Bollinger Bands. This is actually pretty close together. If you remember, some of those are, the bands are so far apart. The mouth is so far open. This one, not, not so bad. So that is also another benefit. Look, our 200 day, our support level that I drew, and your Bollinger Bands are also, it's like triple net support here, okay? Be a little bit more confident that, you know, your floor is right in this area. This, the floor is building stronger. We got three boards here. Harder to go for three boards than one board. I don't know. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> All right, let's go to Litecoin and see what we got. Let's take off our bands and we'll start there. Litecoin. All right, we got our moving averages. Litecoin's a little bit more wavy than most, right? A lot of more, a lot more volatility in Litecoin than most coins. So look at our floor here. Uh, going back again, a lot of price interaction. Not so big key because you have candles closing all around it. But uh, anytime you have just you're hovering around same prices for a long time. Look at this, December to February, just right in this area. See this? I know you can see it, but I'm going to draw it anyway. See all the prices in there? So just more of like a mean kind of uh, liquid zone, so to speak. And that's why I think we probably saw, uh, you know, bottomed out right in this area. A lot of people probably bought up in these areas. So as we're moving back up, we've broken through our 200 day back up, back down. Like I just said, Litecoin is more volatile than most. Let's look at Bollinger Bands. Look how wide apart they are. Speaking of volatility, 407 for the top and 100 for the bottom. That's, that's a heck of a volatile area. But so far, so good. Litecoins will still, you know, return, in my opinion. It's still okay. We're still good. Let's go look on the weekly. Take off our bands. And Litecoin still battling to get back above. It's 21 week. We're going to remove all these drawings for us. And, yeah, just same as before. We want to close closer to this. That would be great. We don't want to start closing on. This is a weekly, weekly charts now. We don't want to close down anywhere near this 50 week. 50 week closes are not good. We closed one. We got to close at least, if we don't get to our 21 week this week for Litecoin, at least close a you know a good amount above our 50 week. And then maybe next week we can we can uh, progress back up. So that's Litecoin. I don't think the Bollinger Bands really helped us out much. Not really. We get look how far extended we really got outside of these. So if you got if you have a strategy and uh, you just see like the, you know your RSI is super heated and you're well outside of your Bollinger Bands. I mean, just use common sense and know that that's probably not going to last a whole lot longer. All right, let's see what else we got. Let's go to AMP. We'll look at AMP now. AMP is on a weekly chart. You know, a little bit of a younger coin as well. Just came around in, uh, towards the fall of last year. Uh, a lot of good fundamentals out of AMP, uh, but look at where we fell here. This is not really a surprise, right? Look at our line. Look at all the many weeks we interacted with this. Just like we just looked at Litecoin. A lot of uh, buyers came in in these levels. Nice support level here. We're back up. We're back above the 21 week already. So no, no big issue out of AMP on a weekly macro scale, especially being so young and still holding above its 21 week. Nice sign. Let's go look at the daily and see what we got here. We don't even have a cross yet. Now, this is probably going to cross, but I mean, every other coin we've looked at, these are already well tangled up and crossed. So AMP's looking pretty solid, actually. Uh, now, the one reason you might not uh, think that AMP's looking real solid is if you bought up in these levels. If you bought up in here, which it's okay if you did. A lot of people did. Hope you didn't make any huge buys, but dollar cost averaging up in here, it's okay. You're going to be bailed out in the not-so-distant future, I have a feeling. AMP will do quite well. It's just a patient boat you're in. All right, we're okay. Look at all your support levels are right in here, around the 200-day. 
just like a lot of coins. So it's okay. It's just going to take some time. Now, if we move down, we want to just make a higher low. So right at three cents, if we come back down again, just hold it right at three cents and then move back up again. And we'll be making higher lows, higher highs, and we'll turn the ship around as soon as we can. Okay? Patience is a virtue in anything. Look how far outside we got in the Bollinger Bands. Again, Bollinger Bands coinciding with the 200-day, we're okay. Right around three cents, I would put that as a nice support floor level and uh, would make probably a nice opportunity anytime around three cents to just more heavily invest if you're that type of person and want to just dollar cost average and your your heavier dollar cost average your heavier buys are going to be when you're you're at really low market structure support right in this area again not financial advice it's all my own opinions so if you like it use it if you don't do your own thing no problem but that's I think what we do six coins one two three four five six six coins we did so let me know how you like that if you like it maybe we'll do another six next week something like that we'll just keep a, like a rotation going also depends on how many views i get if i get 100 views on this probably not really worth my investment of my time to go over all this uh if i get a thousand views hey sure we'll do we'll do some more of this but if, if you're new to the channel and you're watching this far kudos to you give us thumbs up Subscribe to the channel. As you can see, we have no shills. I'm not trying to manipulate you and click in 47 things. Um, I have a few links below. That's all just my Twitter, Telegram, Patreon stuff. Uh, if you if you want to learn a little more, follow me more. That There you go. Uh, if not, just a thumbs up would be appreciated. And we'll see you next week. I appreciate you guys. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Stay safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, which is not much. I do... I'll try anything twice. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.